excuse that, but welcome back to The Walking Dead, A New Frontier. Last time, remember, we cleared episode one. The Ties That Bind, part one. And it has been a few hours since I downloaded the rest of the series. So, we should have the other four episodes intact right now. And mind you, this is the one of the two newer ones, for those who don't know. The, these are the the newer versions of Skybound Entertainment, or Skybound Gaming, as they like to call themselves. So let's go into the episodes, like so. So we got... All the we have all four of the other episodes intact. So let's continue the ties that bind. In the wake of escalating trouble, Javier leads a group of refugees toward the safety of a nearby town. So as soon as I'm done with episode two, then I'm going back to uh, final season and do episode two off that. So I'm flip-flopping between both A New Frontier and the final season. But of course, in order, A New Frontier is going up first, then final season. Please, let me do the dishes. That's the least I can do. I'm crashing here. Crashers clean dishes. Your family. Besides, if they're not clean the right way, David becomes a big baby about it all. I'm a pro at this point. I happen to be an expert relaxer. If only you weren't a degenerate gambler, too. Ouch. Damn, too soon. Too soon. No, I know you don't mind, but I, I won't be here for too long. Just, you know, gotta get back on my feet a little. You're right. I don't mind. But David does. Is that it? Maybe a little bit. No, actually, forget I said that. Uh, that wasn't for me to... He's always talking about how I'm never around, and then when I'm actually here, he acts like he doesn't know me. It's complicated. But look, he loves you. You're his brother. He's got an odd way of showing it. So where do you think you'll go? Don't know. With what happened, I'd be amazed if I could get a job assistant coaching T-ball. You'll land on your feet. Well, here's hoping. I could use a fresh start. Uh, I'll, I'll probably just travel around, you know, see what's out there. Want to take me with you? Well? Uh, sure. Just finish up with those dishes and I'll bring the car around. <laughs> but I take the music. <laughs> yeah, never mind then. You know I'm just messing around, but it's hard to say no to a fresh start. I always wanted to go to Norway, see the northern lights. But you'll be jet setting and I'll still just be here. Oh, oh god damn it! Oh, Ooh, shit, quick, shit, run under water. Shit. Well, that was David's army glass. Oh, he's gonna be so pissy about it. I can hear him already. Oh, it's so annoying. He should be more worried about you slicing your hand open. He should be. There you go. See, much better. Who's that noise? Guys! Hello? My CEO gave me that. 
And unless you want to dig up his fucking corpse, he's not going to give me another one. Why don't we get an actual dishwasher? Oh, here we go again. Then you won't be on my ass anytime there's a spot on a fork. Excuse me? If we could even afford a dishwasher. It is just a glass. It was important to me, Javi. A glass? We don't see your ass for a year. A year. Then when your life goes to shit, we're expected to drop everything and roll out the red carpet. All for Prince Javi. And now you're gonna start telling me how to talk to my wife? This isn't about him. Really? He's the one standing right there judging me for something he doesn't understand. You don't know him like I do. Always judging everyone, except himself. You know what, David? Time for you to open your eyes. Kate's gonna leave your ass. What? She told Hi. me- you said that? Jesus fucking Christ, no! We were talking about traveling and I just... No, I definitely didn't say that at all. Three days, then I want you off my couch and out the door. We clear? Fine. Javi, that is my husband. We are married, in case you forgot. That's for life. The way you say that, though... So no, no, that was personal. <laughs> so that's my wife. I was like, I don't care. Shit. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey, hey, take it easy. Oh. What happened? They got away. Oh God, Mariana. I already dug a grave for her. I'll never forget you. You were a good sister to gain. And, and like a daughter to me. Javi, thank you for staying. I think you probably saved my life. I couldn't leave you alone. That's because you're a good man. I'm not good enough to save her. You bought your people time, though. That counts for something. around for years. Yeah, let's not forget that. I'm, I'm sorry I never found you those candy bars. Deserved just so much more life. Just 
You should have been the one burying me. Except someday. Someday far away. You did everything you possibly... The other guys had this too. Oh, shit. What? Well, what's wrong? Clem? I've run into these guys before. Who are they? Please? They call themselves the New Frontier. They used to be decent people. Now they're something else. Scavengers. This brand they have. It's like an initiation thing. I was kind of stuck in their camp for a while. Not by choice. It was bad. I'm lucky to be alive. Bad how? I got out. That's all that matters. They left one of their cars behind. That's something at least. Oh yeah. Good. Just like you always wanted. I can take you back to Prescott, make sure your family's okay. But then I'm hitting the road. You should stay with us. Let's just get back to Prescott. Something just happened here? What the... I was about to say. Give her a place to stay. You're back. How's Kate? Uh, is she? Just came out of surgery. Eleanor's still with her. You'd best get over to the infirmary. You made it back. She asked for you. You know. Please. Please just tell me how she's doing. Well, she came through the surgery as well as could be expected. Those bastards did her one favor, at least. Any lower, and that bullet would have torn her stomach lining as well. Your boy Gabe. He seems really fierce. He wanted to help so badly. He practically forced me to let him stay. That's Gabe. But she was bleeding so much, he... got overwhelmed. So when's she gonna be up on her feet again? She's stable. For now. But she's still bleeding inside. I don't want to lie to you. It's probably just a matter of time. I... I wish I could do more. Thanks for trying. And for not sugarcoating it. Wish I had something better to tell you. But 
I'm sorry, Javi. I'm going to get cleaned up. You may want to find Gabe. He looked pretty upset when he left. This isn't going to make him feel any better. Still. I'll track him down. Flew in a plane just like this to a baseball game in Arkansas once. Lifetime ago. I know Chip drove like hell to get Kate back here. How's she doing? Not great. As well as can be expected. Yeah, considering. You should have come back with us. Your family, they needed you. Clementine needed my help back there. She could take care of herself. Your family, they were the ones who needed help. It's a hell of a situation. Just know I'm praying for you, all of you. And whatever happens, you all are welcome to stick around in Prescott, if that's what you want. Nobody's gonna force you, but we'd be glad to have you all here. I'm not gonna make a decision like that without talking to Kate, so I'd rather check in with her when she's feeling better, you know? Sure thing. Let the lady weigh in first. Cut and dry situation now. I can say, well, you know, uh, you me, uh, everybody needs, you know, everybody needs help. Hmm. Doesn't look super sturdy. Hey, have you seen a kid come through here? Blood all over his hands. Dark look on his face. Headed off that way, without saying a word. If I were you, I'd give him some space. Just my advice, one parent to another. He's had a really bad day. Can't let him go off by himself. Not right now. Sorry to hear that. That blood, I take it that wasn't his? His stepmom's. You gotta stay strong for her. Do whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. Know if my friends seen you in the same situation, I'd fight like hell. Mm -hmm. Anything we can do to help you out, just let me know. I appreciate that. Your boy stomped off towards the front gate. back and bury Mariana. We buried her. It was peaceful. How could it have been peaceful? I know how much you miss her, Gabe. I miss her too. And Kate, 
She needed me during her surgery. She needed my help. I just ran away like a stupid little kid. You stayed long enough to do some good. And because of that, I'm proud of you. You were there for her as much as you could be. That doesn't count. Yeah, it does. I'm done feeling this way. Feeling powerless. I can't be some helpless little boy anymore. I need to be a man, just like my dad was. He knew how men were supposed to act. You're already a man, Gabe. I'm not, but at least I know it now. Next time, I'm not gonna sit back and watch. I'm gonna do something. I have to. Listen, Gabe. Shit. Get inside, now! You were put into a situation where you can't be a boy. Therefore, you're already a man. You already did something about it. Oh, that doesn't count. No, it counts. Bloody business. We might have to leave. Make sure Kate's ready. You can count on me. Don't you kick your ass out. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Shit. He was one of the men at the junkyard. These are those freaks that brand themselves. I wish we hadn't had to come all the way out here, but unfortunately, Badger here says you attacked his man. He says you fired him. Took out a lot of our people. They shot first. They killed my niece. Shot a woman in cold blood. How many of my friends died because of you, huh? Sounds like a bunch of he said, she said shit to me. Well, what the fuck do you want? An apology? What I really want is for my dead buddies to be alive again. But I don't think that's too likely, is it? He needs to come with us. Answer to justice. Accept his punishment. Men have got to have laws. Otherwise, we're no better than the animals. Or else what? What are you going to do? You know damn well what. Fact of the matter is, you stole from us. You killed some of us. Give it up now and get down here. I think they need a little incentive. Bessie! You heard her? I'll kill you. Whoa. You didn't tell me you had a hostage. It's gonna be okay, baby. I love you, baby. All right, baby. Just, just give them what they want. There's no reason this has to get ugly. But we ain't leaving without what we came for. She's innocent in this. You don't have to drag her into our fight. I don't have to, but I kind of want to. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Get your ass down oh my god. here! Or I cut off the rest of them! What the hell are you doing? Javi, please, man. Just, just go with him. You got to. You kill Francine! Nobody's giving in to them. We should start shooting. No fucking way. He'll kill Francine. He might kill her anyway, Conrad. We gotta risk it. No. Uh-uh. No way. We do not open fire while she's down there. Look! I'm sure we can work this out without anyone else getting hurt. Not interested in you trying to fucking stall. I'm gonna count from five. You know what happens at zero. Five, four, three. It's cool. I'm coming out. I'm all yours. Thank you. I don't 
don't know, man. Me neither. Is it worth the risk? Good man. Let's lock him in the truck and get the hell out of here. I don't want to wait that long. Jesus Christ. Come on. I want to see him pay for what he did. We had a deal. You asked for me to come down, and I did. Yeah? Well, fuck the deal. The fuck? Are they following us? No, just the other car. Looks like we're okay. Eleanor! Thank God. 
can't believe it. All of our friends, all those people. Oh, Conrad. We'll avenge her. I promise you that. Oh, so is we now? You're the reason they came to Prescott in the first place. She's dead because of you. Conrad, easy, buddy. This wasn't his fault. Bullshit. Francine, Prescott, all because this washed up cheap walked through our gates. I should have known it the second I looked at you. We, we just lost someone too. So, say what you have to say. What? That's supposed to make me feel better? Calm down, Conrad, please. All I know is, if it wasn't for him... Back the fuck off, now! Just back away! Take it easy, son. Gabriel, put it away! Now! He's gonna hurt you! No way! Just do it already. I don't even care anymore. Just put it down, Gabe. Come on, kid. You kill an unarmed man, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. You hear me? Don't touch my uncle again. Fuck me. Gabe! Let him go. He just needs to cool off. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go back. We have to bury her. I wish we could, but Prescott's overrun. We can't go back. Well, we're not safe here either. What about Richmond? I've heard there's a community there. If it's true, they'll have food, walls, maybe even a hospital. All I want is to find the motherfuckers who did this. They took my home. They took my... God damn it! The one thing we all need is a place to call home. Maybe Richmond can be that place. Richmond? Huh. It's something at least. <sighs> yeah. Fuck it. Let's go. That's a spirit, man. Huh. Maybe they'll hit it off. Hope so. Might be good for them both. They need someone their own age they can talk to. Come on, guys. We got a long drive ahead of us. To Richmond, the better. Oh, oh God damn it! Oh, it really hurts. Hey, you're gonna be fine, Kate. Uh, I'm just trying to be realistic. Yeah, well, I'm trying to be optimistic. Javi, we both know what's coming. Kate, we do. This is gonna sound fucked up, but maybe this is my chance for Christ. I don't know. A graceful exit. Not many people get those. I'd be one of the lucky ones. Kate. Come on, Kate might hear you. He's gonna have to deal with this sooner or later. Just think about all that's happened. Mariana died. I couldn't stop it. And Gabe, 
I heard what happened when we stopped. Isn't it obvious? Look, he might be turning into David. He might be turning into you. He's not that sweet little boy I first met. He just needs guidance. And a lot of it. And I hope so. All I care about is him becoming who he needs to be. And it's gonna be on you to make sure that happens. You know I'll be there for him. For as long as he wants me to be. I do know. But it's still nice to hear. Oh! Hey! Careful! Sorry! You should get some rest, Kate. We all should. Really. With pleasure. Ugh. Parents just love pretending the rest of us can't hear. I wouldn't know. Great. What now? I've got some bad news. So what's going on? Well, we got a bunch of cars clogging the underpass. Too many to drive through. We're gonna need to move some of them out of the way. <sighs> hey, I'm coming too. I'll stay with Kate and keep a lookout. Yell at us if anything happens. Awfully convenient the pass is blocked like this. Not convenient at all if you ask me. If we move that car right there, we should be good. Come on, let's get to work and clear it out. So yeah, that's what we are going to do. Bitches, we're going to make some headroom and make some more progress from there so stay tuned more of the walking dead a new frontier right after this thanks so much for watching